What's up, bitches? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. And this is our first beverage review in a couple years, probably. Probably. Yeah. It's been a while since you guys got the McStud's Tasty mm. Beverage Review. But something big just came out. Well, the seltzers have been coming around. You got the Truly, you got the, the White Claws, which I drank one. I'm not a seltzer fan. I don't understand the need or want for someone to drink a seltzery drink. It is disgusting. It has, like, I don't care what flavor it is. It tastes like uh, carbonation. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to describe it. I don't um, know. I never tried it. But Bud Light just <laughs> made big commercials. Bud Light seltzer. Okay, another seltzer drink that probably tastes like a bucket of dicks. But they got flavors. I'm holding the mango. She's holding the black cherry. Let's let's mm -hmm. let's get those in there. Um, we didn't really have an op mm -hmm. like we just, I just gave one of each of us. We don't know. They're probably not gonna be good. But let's do a little uh, a little, <coughs> a little research. Miss McStud is oof, struggling. Struggling. So they are five percent alcohol by volume. Hundred calories. Per 12 ounce, so 200 calories for this can. So if you're trying to watch your figure and you want an alcoholic drink, 200 calories of alcohol is probably not, not bad. No. Um, this says light, simple, bold mango. What's yours say? Light, simple, black cherry. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, if that doesn't tell you I want to drink it, that contains alcohol, no artificial flavors. 100 calories, less than one gram of sugars, two grams of carbs per 12 ounces, and it's gluten-free. Thank yeah. God. I'm so happy it's gluten-free. Are you excited to drink this, Miss McStud? No, but I did want to do this video. Yeah, I know. You're, <coughs> you're a fucking trooper, really. I didn't never expect it. But in the Anheuser-Busch thing, they give you the 24-ounce can, but it's actually 25 ounces, so you get the, free, the extra ounce free. Oh boy, an extra free ounce of seltzer, seltzer. bullshit. <laughs> Ugh. Why can't they give me an extra ounce of Bud Light? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't even care for that either. Huh. Actually, that's... The, now, compared to what the White Claw smelled like, that smells good. That does smell decent. How's your black cherry smell? Actually, it smells really good. It really? smells better than yours. Wow. It's like a cherry Coke. So, so far, we're impressed by the smell. Every salsa drink I've tasted has failed my taste test. Let's see how this goes. Are you ready, Mr. Stud? Yeah. Cheers. Oh. I will say it's better than White Claw. Sounds like I think I drink this. It's better than White Claw. It has less of the seltzery taste, and you get the flavor. White Claw... I didn't get, I did not get any flavor out of it. <clears throat> this tastes like a watered down. A flavored water. Black cherry. Flavored water. Coke. Um, can I try yours? You want to try mine? Yeah. Let's switch it up. If mine's better than yours, you gotta go back to me. I think the mango might be better. You like the black cherry? Yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> I think I might actually but, be able to drink this, though. But I think the reason I liked it is because the seltzer fucks with your mouth. So when we drank our first drink of each one, we have that flavor infused in our mouth. So when we mix them, it's kind of like drinking coffee after brushing your teeth. You know what oh, I mean? You get that, okay. that, I think that's what it is. I think if we would have switched it, it still would have had the semi-decent flavor. I mean, it's definitely not my favorite. I can see why you would like it. it I'd it's, probably drink it, actually. Um, I've never tried a seltzer. Oh I my god! I didn't do White Claw because that shit would make me probably vomit. We'll have to do a White Claw Wednesday. Wait, remember I've been talking about that? Let's see what you think about it. I don't think you'll like White Claw at all after this. Um, but I gotta say I'm impressed. It's not something I can drink. I probably won't be able to drink this whole can of it. Well, but if it was in like a regular twelve ounce, twelve ounce can, I could probably drink it. L let me clarify my <coughs> stance on being impressed. It's not something I want to drink. Um, I'll drink it because I bought it and it's alcohol and it's drinkable. It really is drinkable. It is. Um, 
I gotta be honest, I'd rather have a straight up Natty Ice. Really. That's in all honesty. Tough. This is mango flavored. The only thing, uh, one of my things I really like mango flavored is the uh, Red's Wicked Mango. Yeah. It's 8% alcohol. I have a hard time with 8% drinks. Um, I don't know what it is about them. It causes me to like have a allergic reaction at times. Remember yeah, me? you get like hives and like crazy. The same thing with four locos and shit. I can't do it. <clears throat> um, but I can't completely knock this because I can see why a lot of people would like this. It's this, it's a very yeah. smooth seltzer. It's not a hard one where it's just like. Ugh. Well, I can see why the price is the way it is too. Because mm -hmm. what'd you say, like a... A 12 pack. You know what? They were not 24 ounce cans. I think they were 12 ounce cans. Uh, a 12 pack of 12 ounce cans at the liquor store was $17.99. That's a little, a little crazy. And Walmart had them. I didn't see their price, but it was like, yeah, yeah, I did. It was like four bucks cheaper for the 12 pack at Walmart. So like 13? Yeah. And I'd that's, probably, that's I'd more probably, reasonable. I'd probably pay 13. That's more reasonable. Just to drink. I could probably only drink. Like two cans spaced out. Yeah. Or one can a night. This is one of those things kind of like IPAs. <clears throat> I can do an IPA, but I can only do one or two a night. Yeah. Like it's just the, I, uh, except for that one color Sun King had. Remember the one had the four different colors for quarters, each quarter of the year? Oh, yeah. Um, And it was, uh, it was orange or blue one I liked. One of them had a really smooth taste to it. And even you were like. I thought it was like green. A, Maybe it was green, but one of them you could actually drink. And yeah. you're like, it's not too bad. And um, that one you made me taste was like tar of a tire. Oh. It made me sick as fuck. Oh, no, that was their... Uh, sick AF. That was a reserve collection. That was on that poured out like motor oil. I was sick AF. And it was strong, and it did... Ooh, that was not good at we all. We were both sick. Yeah, it didn't... After that. We didn't even drink the whole thing. It was a... It was like Six, a, it was a sixteen ounce can. Wasn't that like a tire? It was something called tire. No, I forget the name. I still had the. I actually had the can on our, our glass beer it bottle. Made us both sick. Can. Not like throwing up sick, but. <laughs> we're not built for that kind we of. We were not ready for that. No, but I mean, I can see a lot of people. You know, Friday night they're gonna go out. They want pre-drink. They know they're gonna suck a lot of dick. Let's get a fucking case of Bud Light Seltzer and prepare ourselves for cocks in our mouths. I wouldn't compare it with a cock in your mouth because nothing can prepare you for that. Well, I'm just saying this is probably what they drink before they suck some dick. I, I don't see, need this to be able I, to suck some dick. I can see some dudes who are like, you know what? My ass is ready for a pounding tonight. I want a six pack of Bud Light Seltzer. Okay, so next time you want me to suck your dick, I'll be like, hold on. I need Bud Light Seltzer. I don't talk about dudes. Oh. Majority. Uh, I don't. I, I, everyone has their taste. So I'm not trying to. Why men? Are you being sexist? Uh, yeah, probably a little bit. Well, stop being um, a dick. I mean, dudes can like this. I'm just saying, it's not a. I it, think it's this, horrible. This, this is like a dude ordering a Cosmopolitan at the bar. You're not drinking it fast, so that means you don't care for it a lot. It, it's way better than a White Claw. I, you mm. remember, remember Tucker commented on my White Claw video? He's like that face you made as soon as you take a drink. <laughs> yeah, that was White Claw. I took a drink of the White Claw. I'm like, oh, it's like literally. Wasn't that like pure carbonation? Yeah, like, it tastes, tastes like, like pure, pure carbonation. carbonation. And yeah. like, I think I got black cherry White Claw for that video. That you can taste the black cherry in. This you can taste the mango in. The White Claw, I could not taste a goddamn thing It literally thing in. reminds me of a black cherry watered down Coke. Watered like down. Like not, uh, not a regular cherry, black cherry, like a black cherry Coca Cola. Wait. It reminds me of a watered down black cherry, like big K. You know Coke. what? I think I described that white claw as watered down, like a watered down flavor it's to it. It's a watered it. down, yeah. It tastes like a watered down, um, very. I mean, I don't approve of it. I don't. I don't think I could sit and drink these, really. I mean, I'm gonna drink this one tonight, but I don't think I could get a, a six pack or even one more after this. And like, yeah, I'm gonna sit and drink this Bud Light Seltzer. I probably won't ask for one, no. Yeah, it's not that good. But. 
Yeah, it's, it's, I can uh, drink it. Yeah. I mean, if it was at a party, then I'd drink it. I mean, I think uh, I think a bunch of dudes get together and drink Bud Light Seltzer before a circle jerk. Really. That's ridiculous. Um, they're like, hey guys, let's have a circle jerk. I got. But this. the more you drink of it, it's kind of makes it worse. Do you get that? It's not as good as the first drink. No. You got the flavor on the first drink. And I think your taste buds adjust and the carbonation is taking over. Yeah, like again. my tongue is numb almost. Yes, that's what that's what happened with the white claw. And like it numbed your mouth to, to flavor. Yeah. Um I think eh. I'm not a fan. You guys might like it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna drink this whole thing on video. I just can't do it. Well, I'm not gonna drink this whole thing all night anyway. But I got the mango. You like it though? Would you recommend it? No. You wouldn't recommend this to go out and like do we get you some I mean, if you want, if you if you if this is what you can afford, it'll do the job. Oh, there's cheaper shit to afford than fucking Bud Light seltzer. Well, I wouldn't recommend hams over this. Oh no. I mean, I drink this over hams. I don't know. I think I take the hams. I I'm not, I wouldn't. I would take the hams over Bud Light. Seltzer. I mean, this isn't horrible. It, I mean, it'll do a not trick. The, not it'll the worst. Not the worst drink I've ever had. If this is all we had in the fridge, yeah, I'll drink, I'll drink it. it. Yeah. Um, it's not something I completely avoid. But I won't not something ask for I'm it. not going to search for it. I'm going to ask for it. I'm not going to go to a restaurant and say, hey, you have Bud Light Seltzer. And I say ask for it because he's the one that goes to the liquor store. Yeah, I think it's I'm not. Like it's like I'm going to go like, oh, I need some more Bud Light Seltzer. Eef. Like they had two other flavors there. I picked the two that I knew we liked, mango and black cherry. Yeah. Um, but <sighs> this just does not make my dick hard. Eef. Um, can I? Yes, you can. Okay. But, oof. I have to say this is not mixed dud approved. But it does not mean that you will not like it. So make your own decision. Go out and buy it and try it. Because I, I, you know, everyone has different tastes and different opinions. And I'm not one to sit here and sway your opinion. Like, I think you have to try it. If you like salts or drinks, really. Mm hmm. Give it a shot. This will probably be your top choice if you actually uh, like salts. I haven't drinks. tried the Truly. And there's a couple other ones. Natty Ice has a seltzer, or Natural Light, I whatever like the fuck Natty it is. Natty Ice, period. Uh, I I don't know period. how that would taste. I know we did. We tried the the Natter Days, uh -huh. the, the strawberry lemonade or whatever the fuck that was. That wasn't actually that was actually drinkable. Yeah. I'll take a thirty pack of those over one of these any day. Um, <laughs> really, I would. And I don't really want to drink a thirty pack of those. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe one or two a night. I'm cool. But yeah, this is a uh, oof. You know, I like it when we have good beverage reviews, and we're like we finish them on video. Like no, we like we have to fight for the drinks. Mm -hmm. Those are the fun ones because we usually have one can or bottle of whatever we're reviewing, and we're like, oh shit, that's delicious. And mm -hmm. we're like, oh wait, wait, oh. this isn't one of those. No, <laughs> we're not fighting for drinks for Bud Light Seltzer. <coughs> but. Yeah. Go no, out, I'm good. Go out and buy it. Try it. See what you think. If you like seltzer drinks. If you're not a seltzer person, don't even consider it. Don't waste your money. Yeah, don't waste your money. Because uh, seltzer, if you don't like just plain, like some people like that seltzer water, the flavor of seltzer water, I think it's disgusting. Uh, I find that older people like that yeah. seltzer water more because I don't know what it does for their taste buds or what, but they have a good, like this, there's something about it they like. And they probably would like this, really. Mm -hmm. If if they like beer or just want some alcohol with some seltzer taste, because they don't even like to drink regular water, the older people. Right. They want some more flavor, and maybe I'll get there and I'll see what they're talking about. But I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. If you want to try it and you like seltzer, go for it. Yeah, label out. That, that applies for malt liquor. I don't give a fuck about Bud Light Seltzer. But you can show them what you're reviewing. Yes, I am reviewing. Asshole. Yes, I am an asshole. But you love this asshole. At that moment, and you were being an asshole. Well, you're going to lick my taint later. The fuck? You said you're going to... Are you done? What? You said two fucking Bud Light Black Cherry Seltzers and I'm going to fucking eat your ass. Didn't you? No. Didn't you? You said it was I don't even have two, and I'm not even going to drink two, and I'm not even going to drink one, so shut up. Okay. Anyways, I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. This has been the Bud Light Seltzer Review. Two flavors at once. First yeah. time we've ever done that. Mm-hmm. Um, 
first video in a couple years, so awesome. We gotta do a review. But and this a, isn't awesome. And a malt liquor video the same night. What? Yeah, cool. Yeah, this is. Mm, get okay. try it yourself. See what you like. Deuces, bitches. Titties. Hey. Ooh.